Hello there. Have you ever wondered whether gyrocopters would be useful in a modern war zone? Do they have any value as a combat aircraft, or is a combat gyrocopter something that only belongs in GI Joe cartoons? Well, the People's Liberation Army certainly believes in the military value of these small flying machines, which look like helicopters but aren't quite the same thing. The main difference is that on a gyrocopter, there is no engine to turn the main rotor. The main rotor simply self-propels in what is called auto rotation, sustained by the airflow flowing upwards across it to make it rotate. There's typically a small engine that powers the rear propeller that provides the forward thrust. The Chinese military gyrocopters are known as the Hunting Eagle strike vehicle, produced by the Shanxi Baoji Special Vehicles Manufacturing Company. They have been in serial production since August 2014 and have been used by the PLA and the police force for some time. The first time the aircraft really came into the spotlight was during the 2019 National Day military parade. When columns of light vehicles rumbled past the Forbidden City, carrying the Hunting Eagle on their back, the gyrocopters were displayed in large numbers. They were unarmed in the parade, so it wasn't 100% clear what they are used for. Nevertheless, the parade shows that the PLA is employing these on a massive scale, particularly for the special forces. They have been given the nickname the Air Tricycle. The hunting eagles come in different configurations, including single seat and two seat variant. They have low height, in fact, shorter than an average female. They have a range of 250 miles or 400 kilometers, and has an empty weight of 290 kilograms and a gross weight of around 560 kilograms, giving a useful payload of 270 kilograms. Excluding the weight of the 70-liter fuel, the payload for the crew and equipment is 220 kilograms. They have a two-bladed main rotor of 8.4 meters, a tricycle landing gear, and a rear propeller powered by a small engine. Gyrocopters are relatively slow compared to helicopters. At 180 kilometers per hour, compared to 250 kilometers per hour cruising speed of the Seahawk, for example, but gyrocopters are very nimble. They can perform very short takeoffs and land with very high angles of approach in small areas. They are also very easy to conceal, very easily hidden in large numbers, so they can potentially achieve an element of surprise. They are also very light compared to other aircraft, which makes them easy to transport and move around. In fact, they are so light that they can be pushed by just one person. In the case of the video, a woman. They are simple to maintain. A little known fact is that they do not consume aviation fuel, but only regular gasoline. Those consumed by land vehicles and available in everyday petrol stations, which means the gyrocopter is very easy for logistics. Their logistical footprint is absolutely tiny. They can be deployed and supported even under very difficult conditions, which leads to a very high availability rate under most conditions. Likely for these reasons, the gyrocopters have been seen performing military exercises in remote places like Tibet and the Himalaya mountains. According to the military news channel, the CCTV7, they could be deployed along the Sino-Indian border, where they will prove useful in the harsh mountain environments where logistics and supplies are difficult. In a video released by CCTV7, the military news channel, a PLA gyrocopter can be seen equipped with anti-tank missile launchers. And a small turret containing presumably an electro-optical sensor. In the footage, a two-seat gyrocopter is shown armed with four anti-tank guided missiles, two on each of the underside hardpoint extensions. The small optical sensor under the nose is used to find targets and aim the missile. However, the video says that the sensor does not need to guide the missile. 
These anti-tank missiles reportedly have onboard guidance that enables fire and forget function. The sensor turret is also used for more general reconnaissance and surveillance missions, which are probably the main functionality of these gyrocopters in PLA service. Previously, these aircraft had been armed with smaller precision-guided bombs and without an electro-optical turret. The CCTV footage also shows a large fleet of these gyrocopters undertaking what seems to be a training exercise, showing that the PLA is using these aircraft in large numbers. In terms of how good these anti-tank missiles are, the video is pretty adamant that these are deadly. According to the experts in the video, these AT missiles basically have an accuracy rate of 100%. He literally said that these will hit their targets 100 times out of 100 times, which is a Chinese figure of speech signaling high confidence. He doesn't literally mean that they will never miss, that's impossible, only that the weapon is very much accurate. If true, this will offer the PLA a reliable and affordable solution against enemy tanks and armored vehicles. These gyrocopters are far cheaper than any main battle tanks. The gyrocopter itself cost around 40,000 yuan, or 5,500 US dollars. The anti-tank missiles and the sensor turrets will cost way more. But the total cost is still far less than the millions of dollars of a main battle tank. The gyrocopters are easy to control and apparently easy to learn how to fly. Basically, anyone can be taught how to fly and maintain them. This makes it really easy to train new pilots. According to the old man in the video, he learned how to fly the gyrocopter at an age of 60. The gyrocopters travel at a low altitude compared to other aircraft, which helps them to avoid detection by enemy radars. Reportedly, they have a small thermal signature, and some measures have been taken to quieten the aircraft, which again helps them to stay hidden. One downside of these aircraft is that there's basically no protection for the pilot or the passenger. They are fully exposed. Of course, even a normal chopper is not really designed to getting hit too many times by anything larger than small arms. However, the gyrocopter provides nothing between the crew and any sort of hazards. So it does take a fair amount of courage and daring to fly these things in a combat situation. It's pretty unlikely that tanks will be caught without air defenses of some sort. So it's pretty dangerous to just go after a tank straight up with these gyrocopters. I think rather they serve more of a reconnaissance role with a light attack capability against targets of opportunity. Anyway, the attack gyrocopter shows the PLA has the full spectrum of aerial assets, ranging from stealth fighters like the J-20 to relatively simple but effective equipment like the ones we saw here. Anyway, see you next time.